This week, new bulk actions help you and your clients engage with your audiences at scale. This first release is an absolute game changer for any agency managing the social media presence of all their local business clients. Manage social media for more clients in less time by creating entire social campaigns in minutes with Social Marketing Pro. Create up to five unique posts at once to save time and effortlessly increase creative options. Let's walk you through how you can generate text and imagery for multiple posts and social channels from a single AI prompt. Customize by account and schedule in a simple three-stage progression. To get started, click the Bulk Create with AI button which you'll find on the overview page, calendar, and the post feed in Social Marketing Pro. In the Create Post stage, select whether you want text and imagery to be generated, or only text, and provide a text prompt and image keyword. Keep the image keyword to a single word. In most cases, you'll want to keep this common instructions box checked, so that in addition to the prompt you just provided, the AI will factor in the guidelines set for all social posts for that particular business. If you haven't set common instructions for the business yet, it's a great way to ensure all posts are factually accurate and stylistically consistent for the brand in question. After that, you'll select which networks you want the post to go to. Only those connected to the account in question will display as options. You can set it to generate up to five posts at a time and also specify length and tone. Click Create Posts, and in a few moments, the Select stage will populate with the AI-generated posts. Review the text and imagery, and if you want to edit any of them, just click the pencil icon. This will take you to an editing page dedicated to that post, where you can adjust the text, select a new image, and set platform-specific details, such as whether you want content going to Instagram published as a post or a story. You can even customize by account to optimize the content for each platform. For example, it might make sense to have slightly different wording or call to action on a post on LinkedIn than on Facebook. Pressing save will take you back to the main select page. If the post didn't quite hit the mark, click generation details, adjust the prompt, and regenerate the posts. You'll also see the account's common instructions here, and you can add to those too. The more information provided, the more context the AI will have available to generate content tailored to that business. Once you're happy with the posts, select the ones you want to use and press Next to proceed to the final stage. It's worth noting here that because you can choose to use all or only some of the posts generated, Bulk Create with AI is not just great for creating multi-post campaigns quickly. When you only want to make one post, it's a super efficient way to generate multiple options at once. See what the AI comes up with, then pick your favorite one. Let's continue to the Save stage now where all that's left to do is schedule the posts or save them as drafts. Press save and the scheduled posts will be displayed in the calendar. Not only will this speed up social media management for your team, it will empower your local business clients to build a stronger, more engaging social media presence on their own. For your DIY clients and prospects, the value of Social Marketing Pro just went through the roof. As I said earlier, this is a game changer. As a tool to use, as a solution to empower, and as a highly compelling competitive product to sell. Another way for your clients to stay on top of mind with their audience is through email campaigns, and Campaigns Pro helps them do just that. It's super easy to send the right emails to the right contacts in bulk by filtering a business's main contacts list by the desired criteria. Send a tailored campaign to new contacts by filtering by created date, or reach out to contacts that haven't been sent an email in a while by filtering on last campaign email sent date. You can filter on any fields on a contact record, so the options are endless. Once you have your curated list of recipients, check the Select All box at the top. When you then click Select All Contacts, it will tell you how many contacts you're about to email, whether that's 20 or 2,000. Then click that Actions Lightning Bolt to send a campaign. From here, you'll be prompted to select a campaign, so it's best to make the campaign before preparing the contact list. When sending out emails in bulk, it's important to set up DMARC records for the sender's domain to make sure the emails can be delivered successfully to recipients' inboxes, rather than being marked as spam and filtered out. 
To ensure deliverability of emails sent through Campaigns Pro, DMARC records are required when setting up new custom domains in email settings. Did you know that the AI web chat widget is fluent in over 40 languages? For your clients whose potential customers prefer to communicate in a language other than English, the widget will converse with them in Spanish, French, German, Italian, Turkish, Polish, Ukrainian, Russian, Japanese, Chinese, and many more. By providing immediate responses to a lead in their preferred language, the AI widget provides a great first experience that encourages the lead to communicate. The more information gathered in that initial conversation, the easier it will be for your clients to follow up with a quality response that leads to a new sale and a new customer. Let's try it out. Say you have a client with a pet grooming business and someone inquires in Spanish about the services offered. The web chat will communicate with them in Spanish, perhaps confirming that they offer bathing services and collect their contact information so that the business can follow up and book the appointment. Conversations will appear in Inbox Pro in whichever language they were held in. So in this case, it will appear in Inbox Pro in Spanish. To translate it to English, use your browser's translation feature by right-clicking and selecting Translate Selection to English. To refine a business's online presence, designate their main line of business by setting a primary category on their business profile. For most businesses, the primary category will automatically be set based on data sourced from Google to ensure accuracy and save you time. In cases where automatic setup isn't feasible, or if there's a discrepancy between our system and Google's primary category, your expertise will come in. Through the local SEO admin dashboard, see what is set on their Google listing. Confirm the suggested primary category or select a more suitable one from right there. For those of you using APIs to manage your client's listings, the first category sent for a location will be used as the primary category. You can set up to 10 additional categories to a business's listing too, to make sure they're accurately represented across the web. The primary and additional categories will sync out to all Listing Sync Pro and Listing Distribution partners. All of the updates I've mentioned so far help your local business clients attract, convert, and engage customers. There are also some updates newly available in the Partner Center CRM to help you find and engage new leads for your business. From the main company's page, click on Find Nearby Businesses to search for specific business types, say coffee shops in a specific geographic area. You'll easily be able to identify top prospects based on key digital performance stats displayed right in the search results. Add the prospects of your choosing as companies in your CRM in bulk in a couple clicks and then start a new search, maybe for pizzerias in the same neighborhood. Once you've identified new leads, running a snapshot report will provide you with the detailed insights you need to prepare a tailored sales pitch for each one. The reviews data from snapshot reports, such as review performance grade, average review score, average number of reviews per month, total number of reviews, and number of review sources is also included. This is great insight to have readily available at a glance, and the team is hard at work to help you leverage the data further. Later this spring, you'll be able to use this data to send nurturing email campaigns or trigger sales tasks based on the criteria listed above. When looking at a company in Partner Center, you can see which products they currently have active. If a product is active on trial, you'll see a little trial tag. When viewing activities on a company or contact, associated CRM records are listed for easy reference. Associated records could include companies, contacts, or opportunities to maintain accurate records and provide helpful content to your sales team. Also helpful to your sales team is having the reasons why each sales opportunity has been won or lost readily available in the Partner Center CRM. This information is particularly useful when trying to re-engage a prospect that has gone cold. Knowing the reason why an opportunity was marked as closed lost will allow them to tailor their approach to each prospect, giving them a much better chance of success than using a blanket strategy across all cold leads. Knowing why opportunities convert successfully to closed one also provides super valuable insight on your business's strengths and what your target audience really cares about. The Manage Products page in Marketplace has been improved to help you see what's available more clearly. Browse products easily from a grid view or list view, filtering to zero in on products in a specific category, sold by a certain vendor, or billed at a certain frequency, for example. 
You can easily switch between the grid view and list view, and the page will remember your last choice when you return. Monitoring inbound revenue with subscriptions also keeps getting easier. See upcoming revenue from a client right at the top of their subscriptions tab. This next invoice amount is surfaced right alongside the next invoice date. You can also see the total value of the next invoice when creating new subscriptions. The total recurring monthly or yearly expected amount is summed up and surfaced on the creation page so that you know what revenue you can expect when. A few updates have arrived in Task Manager too. When managing a client's Instagram presence, a socialized task will automatically be generated if a post on their account receives a new comment. So there's no need to constantly check posts for comments or worry that an opportunity to respond will be missed. When creating a project, adding a description is a great way to provide some extra context around what it's all about. You used to have to navigate to the advanced section to add one, but you'll now find it below the project name. So you can jot a quick description down right after you've named the new project. And vendors will be happy to hear that they'll now receive an email notification if a work order is put on hold by a partner reselling their products or services. By learning of such changes in real time, you can keep your team working on the highest priority projects at all times. Before you go try these fantastic updates, I have an exciting promotion that you're going to want to get in on. After all of the exciting updates we've added to Inbox Pro in the past weeks, we're confident we've created the best way to help your clients capture leads and convert them into business. This promo shows just how much we believe in our AI-assisted web chat, and you're not going to want to miss it. If you're an agency selling digital marketing to SMBs, you know the challenge of generating leads, improving ROI while staying profitable. It's tough when clients miss calls, ignore emails, or you don't get credit for the leads you generate. That's why we've introduced Inbox Pro, our AI-assisted web chat that's revolutionizing lead capture. We're so confident they'll supercharge your client's lead generation that we're offering $500 in advertising credits for free with every activation of Inbox Pro. We'll display ads on Amazon's extensive ad network and utilize their first-party shopping and streaming data to target high-intent leads in the places where they are most likely to convert. That's $500 of ad placement on places like Twitch, IMDb, Amazon Prime, and much more for free. Once someone clicks an ad, our AI-assisted web chat will automatically capture those leads, alert your clients, and let them follow up via SMS right from the product you sold them. This is a game changer. They'll use daily and never want to switch it off. Ready to offer this amazing deal to your clients? Just let us know and our marketing services team will set up the web chat and ads. But hurry, our ad credits are limited. Act now to ensure your clients can capture all the leads they can with $500 of free advertising from Vendasta. And there we have it. Go check these updates out and let us know what you think. As always, you'll find a full recap of this week's releases in the change log on roadmap.vendasta.com. Join us next week to hear all about what's coming up next.